Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paper boy, the evening TV. You miss your old familiar friends, but waiting just around the bend. Everywhere you look, everywhere there's you a look. heart. Good morning, ESM. I'm Delaney. And I'm Brad. The weather is starting to get really nice. I know, right? The UV index was 7 the other day. I know a lot of people have been tanning. Yeah, I know. I was listening to Dua Lipa and catching some rays. Addison Ray? No, just UV rays. <laughs> Opposite of tanning, we have a feature from Peyton showing us her last ski trip of the year. I think I'm too uncoordinated to go skiing. Yeah, I've been skiing, and I don't think it's your thing, Brad. Oh, thanks for the support. Now let's get nostalgic and watch Lauren's Senior Spotlight. What up, guys? Welcome to Shark Bay News' Senior Spotlight. I hate seeing our classmates leave. Yeah, me too, but congrats, Lauren. <laughs> now to cheer us up, here's a fan favorite Pete and Gone Sports Podcast. <laughs> Welcome back to week three of the Pete and Gons Sports Podcast with Pete and Gons. This week is a very special week as we have a special guest on the show. Everybody give it up for Mr. Pop. Today we're going to be talking about basketball with Mr. Pods, and we're going to have a hot off the press with Gons. So stay tuned for that. You're not going to want to miss it. And let's get to it. Okay, so first we're going to be talking about the Knicks and Nets. Uh, me, myself, a Nets fan, and Mr. Pods, a Knicks fan. Uh, they just played each other two days ago, and the Nets got the best of them by two points. Uh, Pods, what do you think about the Knicks? I think my reaction to the game was the same as Julius Randle's son, if you've seen that video of him crying and how much he dislikes the Nets. So that's pretty much where I stand with it. Um, I'm a Knicks fan. That's what I am, and I'm not a Nets fan, even though I like the jersey. Knicks are, I think, probably like the eighth seed right now. Maybe by the time you watch this podcast, maybe they'll be like the seventh or the sixth seed. Um, I mean, the Knicks are a lot better team this year than they were in the past, so I'm super excited. Like, I legitimately watch every game and cheer and scream, you know? I'm a diehard Knicks fan. It's the way it works. There you go. There you go. Spike Lee. <laughs> I am. Great. I am the Spike Lee. Um, Brooklyn Nets, they're a good team, um, obviously, first in the East. And uh, they got a good bench, too, to go along with. They got role players like Landry Shamit, Nick Claxton, two good guys right there. Um, and we're not even talking about the big guys yet. We're talking about KD, Kyrie, and Harden. I'm not even talking about those guys. So I think they got a good chance to make the championship. And, yeah. Besides, besides the Knicks being the best team out of the East, Brooklyn probably has the second best chance coming out of the East. Oh, so if it's not the Knicks, um, I'm Brooklyn or Philly, but probably Brooklyn coming out of the East. This is Trivia with the Podfather. Mr. Pods, you have 30 seconds to tell me the top three teams in the Eastern Conference and the Western Conference as of April 7th. Go! Amazing. Um, Philly. Yep. Nets. Yep. Bucks. Yep. 
I thank you very much. Uh, Suns. Yep. Jazz. Yep. Clippers. Yep. Yes, wow. sir. Wow. Nice. Can't what team does George Hill play for? He wasn't the Bucks. He's not in the Bucks anymore, is he? No. Somebody wanted to trade him. They wanted to move him. He's not in the Suns or the Jazz. George Hill. What team is he on now? Wow, George Hill. Pacers, that's where it all began. Where is Five, George Hill now? Four, three, not on the Jazz. Two, huh? one. I don't know. Where is George Hill? Ah. Philly. Where 76ers. Philly. Oh, they don't play though. Did he just get traded there? Yeah. Yeah, he did. I yeah. knew he wanted to get traded. That's where he went? Yeah. Oh. Don't what matter. team did Victor Oladipo get traded to? Uh, the Heat. The Heat, definitely. Mm. Went to the Rockets first, barely played. They lost every game, then he went to the Heat, yeah. Which team traded for J.J. Redick? Man, he left the Pelicans. Where'd he go? A contender, I think. Maybe not a contender. Who wanted J.J. Redick? I don't even know. I think he's not even good anymore. I don't know where he went. I don't. Oh, man. Uh, I can't even guess. I want to say Philly, but that's not where he went. It wasn't the Pelicans. He is... doesn't matter. He's garbage. <laughs> where is he? He's in Dallas. 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 I guess Dallas put a shooter around Doncic. That ain't yeah. bad. Which team traded for Evan Fournier? Oh, so he's on the Celtics now. Yeah. And he bought like a green Mercedes or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Carlos <laughs> Lopez, Francisco Lindor, 10 years, 341 million. God, what about it? Francisco Lindor, man, he's locked in. Mets, 10 years, greatness to come. I see nothing but great future. Uncle Steve, man, he's doing it. He's a fan favorite. We love him here. He's here to stay. Thank you guys for tuning in to week three of the Pete and Gone Sports Podcast with Mr. Pod. Thank you, Mr. Pods, for coming. It's Thank a pleasure you. having you. Uh, next week we're going to be doing a special Pete and Gons Go on a Trip episode, so you're going to want to stay tuned for that. And watch out for us in the hallways. Roll watch out holes. for us in the halls. You know that. Uh, nice. So, yep, that's pretty much it. And that's the end of the podcast. I'm passing it to Gons. And you know what time it is? Just like the ex-girlfriend, we are out of here. Boys have so much energy. I know, those guys are a riot. That's all for, for today, today, ESM. ESM. Stay